All right, how are you guys doing tonight? Thanks for having me. My name is Major Steve Gilbert. I'm the Southwest Admissions Officer uh, up here at West Point. So um, I cover the Southwest, Colorado, New Mexico, all the way over to Tennessee, but I'm actually stationed here at West Point. I graduated uh, high school in 2006 in Albuquerque um, and came to West Point uh, for four years and was a systems management major, graduated in 2010 as a infantry officer. Uh, from there, I served in Northern uh, New York uh, for my platoon leader time. And then I was in the second Ranger Battalion, deployed twice to Afghanistan uh, while I was there, and then did company command with the 101st. And um, just recently received my um, bachelor degree, um, uh, master's in business, um, all paid for through the Army. So I'll tell you guys that just so you can kind of see what, you know, maybe 10 years look like. Um, you may not do that quite that much moving. Some of that was was voluntary on my part, um, uh, but that's kind of what it could look like depending on what job you choose uh, through the Army, whether it's aviation, cyber, uh, med services, um, and anything in between. Um, so West Point, as I mentioned, is in New York. It's about an hour north of New York City, right there on the Hudson. Um, and it's the longest continuously garrisoned uh, in Army inst or in military installation in the United States. Um, started as Fortress West Point during the American Revolution, and then was established as the first military academy in 1802 by President Jefferson. Um, when you think about West Point, you think about leadership. And the reason for that, not only, not only do we have the, the longest history, um, we have U.S. presidents and four and five star generals, uh, but it's because the asset that the Army brings uh, to the table is one of people. Um, you know, when you add the reserves and the guard, we have over a million man army, and, and those soldiers need leaders. And so by the time you graduate West Point within 12 to 18 months, no matter what job you choose, uh, what I can guarantee you is that you will be leading soldiers. You'll be in charge of a platoon between 20 and 35 people. Uh, and that's a guarantee, you know, no matter what, what job you choose. And so because of that, uh, we have to make sure you're ready uh, by the time you leave here after your 47 month experience. So whether it's Fortune 500 companies, uh, uh, CEOs, style, uh, you know, basketball, you think of basketball, uh, and you think of leadership, you think of Coach K. Um, and so that's why we put so much focus on that at West Point. What I'm going to talk about today, we're talking about you know, the pillars that we use to, to get there. Um, but it's important to note that you're coming to West Point to serve as a second lieutenant and be a platoon leader. That's your ultimate goal. Um, and and we'll, we'll talk about you know, leadership development and academics and athletics. Those are really just the tools that we use uh, to make sure you can get there. So next slide. Um, first, when we talk about academics, West Point actually has uh, the largest selection of majors uh, of all the service academies. We have 36 uh, for you to choose from. Uh, while we are the oldest engineering school and the top tier engineering school, no matter what discipline you're focusing on, um, you're going to be able to choose any one of these majors. Um, we have a broad core curriculum, um, so everyone's going to receive a bachelor's of science degree. And then, you know, depending on what you choose, you're still, you know, if you're a nuclear engineer, you're still going to uh, be taking philosophy and geography and economics. Uh, you know, if you choose to major in literature, you're still going to take a track in engineering and your languages. Uh, and the reason for that is to make sure all cadets graduate um, with a broad baseline of, of knowledge that they can be successful um, because the, the environment that they're going to be in, uh, they're going to need to make decisions quickly in, in ambiguous um, situations. So uh, that, that curriculum is very important to us. Next slide. Uh, the next uh, portion that, that we'll leverage quite heavily is obviously our military and training aspects, uh, both during the academic year and during the summer for leadership development. Um, so we utilize a crawl, walk, run methodology at West Point. Your first year, you're going to be learning how to follow, uh, learning your individual soldier skills, how to, how to walk, how to talk, how to do everything Army, uh, how to qualify on your individual weapon system, do land navigation. And then as you get to your second year, that's when you're going to first uh, get, get other cadets that you're responsible for and really start flexing those leadership muscles and, and developing your leadership philosophy. Uh, from then on, during the academic years, you're going to be, um, as a junior and a senior, you'll be a squad leader, platoon leader, all the way up to the first captain in charge of the Corps. Um, really developing that leadership philosophy, you'll have officers and commissioned officers at the company level there to help train and mentor you throughout that process. Um, and then you'll do your leadership details during the summer where you're going to be training lower class cadets um, from a leadership position. Uh, next slide. Uh, as you get to those second two years, um, you'll get more and more opportunities throughout the summer as you get, get through some of the required items. You'll have the opportunity to attend military schools. 
Um, you'll get to go, you know, all over the world. Um, you'll have the opportunity to go all over the world for some really neat military schools. You'll see, you know, Chilean mountaineering, Brazilian mountaineering schools. Um, I went to sniper employment and um, survival of Asian resistance escape school while I was a cadet. You know, schools that are relatively hard to come by for uh, people in the Army, uh, but West Pointers get an opportunity to, um, to, to attend those schools. So they've got a, a skill set they can immediately give back uh, to the Army once they graduate. Uh, and, and also have something on their uniform and, and something to be proud of. So um, also during those summers, we have a, a vast array of individual advanced development, which is really just uh, a, what the word we use for things that they look a lot like internships. So I'll talk about a little bit of that on the, on the next slide, but uh, I'm always amazed talking to cadets, uh, the places they're going, the things they're doing, you know, um, it's usually through their major, but not necessarily. I went to Ukraine uh, when I was a cadet, just because I happened to be taking Russian. Um, you know, I talked to econ majors, they're going to the stock exchange for three weeks. Um, political science majors are going to Quantico. We're going all over the place. And, and again, the reason for that is to really broaden cadets' experiences. Uh, so again, they're they're more worldly and they're prepared for the environment that they will, know on, will certainly one day face. Um, also during the summers, we're going to send cadets uh, to uh, uh, shadow a platoon leader in a job that they're interested in. So we have a you know a four-year program to make sure cadets know all the different jobs that they can uh, get out of West Point, so that by the time they're their senior year, they 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 have a you know a good idea what they want to want to do. And so they'll get to shadow a platoon leader for three weeks doing that job somewhere in the world that we have an army installation, um, and they'll be able to try that out. And then again, you know, take some some notes as they still have time as a cadet to to refine and get better. Uh, before they graduate and, and it really matters. So uh, next slide. Now I'll just, uh, I'll talk a little bit about athletics. So uh, every cadet is an athlete. So you're gonna fall into one of three categories. You'll either be a division one athlete, um, which, which as you know, is the, the highest competition and the lot largest time commitment, um, or you'll be in a competitive club. And some of those you'd be amazed walking around, looking at the facilities at West Point, and, and even sometimes the competition that those clubs are experiencing, traveling all over the country, um, doing great things, um, or you'll be um, doing what we call company athletics or amongst the core. So you're you're competing uh, one, in one of 12 sports on a rotating basis uh, throughout the school year seasonal um, for the core championship. And, and as we are looking for uh, high school letter men and women and captains of teams, those are that that's pretty comp or sorry, that's pretty competitive as well, as you can imagine. Um, what you see on the slide here is really the physical development program as it pertains to really more of an academic setting. So these are the courses that you're going to take physically throughout your time at West Point, along with, you know, your 18 to 22 credit hours um, every semester. So um, there's a lot of things on this list. I think the, the intent here is that you're not supposed to be an expert at all of these things right now. If you're sitting at home looking at this um, and you're a little intimidated by something, that's okay. The point is we're going to give you the tools to be successful. Same with our academics. You're going to have access. We're going to be teaching you how to do things correctly, and then you're going to go out there and you're going to do it. You might fail a time or two, um, but ultimately you'll be successful. And, and that's the point. So at the end of your 47 month experience, uh, you know, you're, you're bigger, stronger and faster and ready to go uh, for what we're going to throw at you. Um, so, you know, just speaking from personal experience, um, you know, I love boxing class. I, I went to West Point. I wrestled at West Point. And, and, and I love that. But on the flip side, survival swimming was was the bane of my existence, you know, but I survived it and and was stronger for it. You know, there's people out there that, that they'll, they'll find some somewhere to struggle in all this, um, but we'll give you the tools that you need to be successful. So I, a little bit about our application process here. So um, if you're right now, if you're thinking, OK, so, you know, what should I focus my time on to be successful? This is a great slide to uh, understand how we're valuing your application. And so, you know, if nothing else, this might be a good way to break down your efforts. 60% um, of what we're looking at is academic. That's your SAT and your transcript um, or your SAT or your ACT. Um, you can take either one of those tests. Just make sure if you take the ACT that you take it with writing. Uh, the SAT no longer offers writing um, and that's fine. You can take that. We'll super score the same as the um, senatorial offices that mentioned that. Um, so just by statistically taking it more times is going to be beneficial to you no matter what, because you can get the same composite four times in a row. Um, but if either of those um, variables change, we're going to take your better scores. 30% um, is leadership. So that's going to be your, your high school athletics, your extracurriculars, and then some evaluations that you'll conduct through your teachers. 
Um, so very important, especially if you've got some time still, make sure you're getting involved in sports and extracurriculars. You know, don't just shotgun it and do uh, be a member of 18 different clubs. I recommend, you know, choose things that you're interested in and try to do well and, and exhibit leadership and, and have leadership positions in those. Um, the candidate fitness assessment, this is shared by uh, the Naval Academy and Air Force Academy. Um, it's the same assessment. Uh, I just want to highlight, we do require videos for the pull-up event and the push-up event. So um, we'll accept scores from either of those um, if, you, if you get tested through any of those uh, app, other applications, uh, but you will need to provide us some videos um, after the fact is fine. Um, and then our application deadline is, is January 31st. So definitely you can do this concurrently with your nomination applications, but, um, but make sure you get those nominations done as those, those deadlines are earlier. So um, that's all I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and put my contact info in the chat. If you think of anything, uh, go ahead and, and put it in there. I'll make sure we get an answer for you. Thank you.